That's it. Yeah, y'all see it. Two times spicy. y'all saying? Y'all see both of us in the video? Huh? What's going on everybody? How's everybody going today? Hope everybody is good. Hope everybody has enjoyed their week. Today is Friday, September 13th. 13th. Friday the 13th. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Lord Jesus. Be with us, Jesus. This is my baby Sharice. This is my baby CJ. And we are back with another video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the little bell to be notified whenever we drop a video. Y'all, I'm off today. Um, got some things to do with my wife. Today is slept slept timber. Slept timber. What the hell is even that? Lord have mercy. <laughs> Slay timber. Day 13. So we decided to come and do a little, you know, breakfast mark thing. We won't be be uh before y'all too long. As Maybe the, I got a question. As the guest pastors say. So on the GoPro, one is green and one is red. Is the battery about to die? No, the green is the battery. So what's the other? The red is the space on the uh oh. the last D card. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna eat a little bit of breakfast with y'all. You know, talk to y'all. Maybe talk about the Shannon shop situation. No, God! No, God, please, no! no. That'll be all you. I don't know nothing about Jesus. it. Jesus. I just <laughs> get my wife take on it. But y'all know what we gotta do. We gotta go ahead and pray. Frank is here. And y'all know when you see Y'all know when you see Frank, we have to pray. Well, we got a guest at the table, so our guest gonna have to come in and pray too. I mean, we can have a guest. Y'all welcome Trudy Lee to the building as well. Let my wife hold her. So everybody by your heads, Frank Trudy. Father God, we come here today praying your hands over those who are less fortunate. And please put hands over this food as it goes into our soul. In Jesus' name, my wife Trudy, Frank, and I pray. Amen. Amen. Frank, you see, I put their names first, the ladies first, right? <laughs> come back here, Frank. I don't want to sit you out the way. Trudy, you good? Welcome in, Trudy. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So today, like I said, we are just going to sit amongst y'all and eat. Um, I have some... Uh, I have some bacon. Oven baked. Bacon, nice and crispy, as y'all can hear. Hear that crisp? Nice and crispy. Some, uh, one egg <laughs> with some cheese <laughs> and, uh, some toast. I got me some jelly over here. And I'm going to be drinking some milk today. And my wife has. I have a bull egg and two scoops of yogurt with protein shake. I mean protein powder, and I will be seasoning my egg with my Ola seasoning. There it is. Make sure y'all get y'all's at olaseasoningblend.com. Yes, indeed. Shout out to TMD TV. We're going to do a quick thumbnail. Uh, just, I don't know, just hold your leg, leg up. Yep. My leg? Yeah, my leg. leg. <laughs> All right. So how y'all doing? How everybody good? Hope everybody is good. It's been a long week for me. I feel, it felt like the week is took, took forever to uh, go uh, go by, but 
I'm just glad it's Friday. We got a three day weekend. Um, what y'all know about who put who put jelly on their toast when they make a sandwich? I used to. I used to put strawberry jelly. Yeah, I love my. Um, I I never really cared for strawberry jelly. I always love Welch's. I always love Welch's Concord grape, y'all. That's my favorite jelly. And I don't know how long we had this. That's just, by. Well, this is good until August 2025. We just got it. Mm-hmm. When we went to Sam's. August 2025, y'all. You know what? I'm going to put it on both slices of bread. How about that? I love my. I love my. That show. sandwich fill you up. You usually eat like three or four eggs. I know. Bed. But it's all good. This bread won't help. Oh, that's a lot. Damn. Mm. All right, y'all. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and um speak on the whole Shannon Sharp situation. Often got caught slipping. You know what I'm saying? So, apparently what happened was, in a nutshell, um, Shannon Sharp. Hall of Fame tight end. Pause. Pause. <laughs> I don't even know if it's necessary there or not, but Hall of Fame NFL player Shannon Sharp, who actually used to pick play for my boys, the Ravens, back in the day, uh, was pretty much uh, on IG Live and was having sex with a woman. And apparently he didn't know that he was live. Oh my God. And um, it's about a, well, I mean, the clip that's float, floating around, it's about a minute and some change, like minute, 14 seconds, something like that. And you can hear Shannon clapping cheeks and uh, a woman enjoying herself. And uh, it is the number one story right now, actually, that's going around. Is there a reason it's the number one story? You know, you know how people are. People just got to be in other people's business. I get it. Once you put your business out there, it is other people's business. But people on there judging him, talking, you know, talking this and talking that, you know, as if you would think that he was on there and the lady was, wasn't having consensual sex or something. That would have been bad, but he was on there having consensual sex, and now everybody's in an uproar about it. Like everybody saying he shouldn't, have, he shouldn't have went live or something. He's saying why are you doing that on live? People saying he should not. He gonna lose everything he got. ESPN need to fire him and all of that. So fire him for having adult pleasure, right? Because you know. It's all about image when it comes to the companies that you work for. You know, a lot of celebrities, I mean, not to bring it back up, but Chris Brown, Rihanna situation, as soon as could that happen. We can't discuss that. I'm just saying. You know, that's... I know that's a sense of subject. I'm just saying, I'm making an example. Remember, before that, Chris had the winter fresh and, uh, um, endorsement and all that. He was... Doing a one fresh thing and on his way up, and then that happened, they dropped him. Um, it happens a lot in, in, uh, in Hollywood. It's just a bad look. Look at Diddy. Well, that's something completely different. That's you know what I'm saying? When something happens, though, when something happens that's out of the ordinary and it's a bad look for the person and the company that they uh, have ties to. More than likely, that company cuts ties with that person. You know, to wash their hands with the situation. Well, if they cut ties with him over this, I think that that's just crazy because. I mean, he's apologized. Now, what, what he's saying is that he was hacked. He's saying that he was hacked and somebody hacked into his IG, and I don't know. I don't know how you. I don't know how you hack into somebody's phone and open IG and go live, but whatever. Unless there was new people there. I mean, but anything, like, if his phone, if they happen to get into the mood and they go into things and the phone happens to be in the bed, you don't know what you're hitting on your phone. Like, anything can possibly happen. That's true. But 
I mean, you might, I don't know. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, to be able to, no matter what you're doing, to be able to, without be using your fingers, to go live on IG will require a lot of touching of that screen. You know, but. I personally don't feel like it's, a, it's that big a deal. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it's something he should be fired for. Like maybe if he had to get suspended or and I still don't even think a suspension is worthy of it. Like I get it. There's a lot that goes into it. Like you would have known you. Uh, yeah. To go. And I don't even know all of the steps to go live on Instagram, but to picture it, I'm pretty sure you have to get into your account. You have to find where the live button is and all of that. So I'm pretty sure there are some steps that you have to get to. So I don't know, but either way, it's like, number one, if you did it on purpose, why would you want to do that on purpose? The person that he did it with, was it a setup? You know, maybe not necessarily that he was hacked, but that person, Man. were they, you know, it's, I think there's a number of different possibilities of things that could have happened, but to just, people blow a lot of things up. I mean, is he married? Is he in a relationship? Nope, trying to single, I believe. So, a single man out there doing what single men do. I think he's single anyway. I don't really follow Shannon Sharp like that. I mean, I've watched a couple of his shows on YouTube. You know, of course, the the Cat Williams joint and the Monique, Monique joint. He had a really good one recently with Marlon Wayne. Oh, okay. That was really good. I, I do watch his um, Club Shay Shay. Some of them, if it's people that I, you know, know right. and like or whatever. But, um, and then, you know, Unk is pretty popular. You know, he was, he was on, um, yeah, the show was Kit Bayless. They didn't work out. Now he's working with Stephen A. Smith. Um, he got a lot of things going on outside of Club Shay Shay, but I just hope that, my hope is that this just doesn't destroy Unk. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I hope it doesn't destroy him. I mean, I just feel like, Sometimes I feel bad for these celebrities because, unfortunately, you know, they become celebrities and they automatically become these, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Influencers. And everything they do is put in the spotlight. And any wrongdoing that they do, they get recommended for. I mean, everybody should be punished for the things that they do, but it don't have to go to the extremes that people wanted to go to. I mean, if he took two shits on Monday, but then made a mistake and pooped four times on Thursday, oh my God, are we going to fire him because he pooped four times instead of two times? Like, it's just... Hey, yo, what the fuck? Well, you didn't come up with nothing else. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. That's just how crazy it, it be out here. It, it, I feel bad for celebrities because they get these spotlights and that's that's what it is. They can't even pick that boogie off the tip of their nose without somebody saying something. No, it's true, though. I mean, I just hope it don't destroy him. And, you know, I, I mean, I... I I just don't think there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think it's nothing wrong. I don't think he... It's not that big of a deal. We're like, okay, fine. He was... Clapping cheeks on IG. He wasn't beating somebody up on IG or... Oh, so, not, right. There wasn't, like, violence. And, like, he was pleasuring a woman. And she was enjoying it. And it just so happened to be on IG. Just let it go. Like, my fault, yo. I ain't know it was live. Move on. No, but everybody taking making a big deal out of it. There's parodies being made already. I, the internet is undefeated. I've already heard two of them. I've seen two parodies. One dude, Tattoo Man, Tattoo Man Page, who was one of my favorite comedians on IG. He reenacted the Shannon Sharp joint, but he was acting like Denzel. He sounded just like Denzel. <laughs> it was so <laughs> funny. I mean, I think he did a... Uh, a voiceover of, of Shannon's video, but it was hilarious. So he sounded just like him. And then my other, another one of my favorite comedians, Tony Roberts, he did a parody of Shannon Sharp um, apologizing. But you know, the internet, they don't care. <laughs> they always gonna make, make you know put a fine.
plot and twist on something, just like when the whole Diddy situation happened and um, Skinbone and them did a parody of his apology and all of that. So, no matter, no, it, it no matter what happens and what it was about, the internet gonna get you. Oh yeah, they gonna get you. They gonna they gonna do what they gotta do to get views and keep getting paid or whatever. And that's the thing is everything is about getting views, but. You know, just like when we was watching our little brother and sister just now, AJ and Danny, and they kind of, you know, they were talking about it. And AJ was saying, like, he wouldn't have did this for a publicity stunt because he don't need it. Right. So people saying that him doing it for that. Somebody talking about, he just, I see people talking about, he, he just trying to stay relevant. He's very relevant. He's already relevant. He ain't going nowhere. Club Shay Shay is, is, is huge. I don't know everything that he does, but I do know Club Shay Shay, and I do know that Club Shay Shay seems to be very successful. Um, I don't know. I just think... People just always got to put their two cents in, and everybody has their own opinions. But I just don't... I, I just don't agree with the... To the people that are saying... You know, they're judging him pretty much. Like y'all so perfect. Right. Nobody's perfect. Everybody make mistakes. Um, I definitely think, you know, something should be said or something like that, but to lose everything behind it, no. It's unfortunate because, you know, there are kids on this platform and I would never want I definitely wouldn't want my child to come across a video like that. So, you know, when you think about it from a parent standpoint, they you know, it does make you like, Well damn, what the what did you do that for, you know? But to still lose everything behind it, it's not like... Because it wasn't a video of it. It was like sounds, right? Yeah, it was just the audio. Um, so, I mean, the punishment has to match the crime. Yeah. In my opinion. And I just think sometimes we want the worst punishment for things that don't deserve it. I mean, we have people out here that are still walk in the streets. And they probably should have been spending life behind yeah. bars. So there's people out here doing far worse things. I got caught getting some coochie on live, on live, and y'all making a big deal out of it. <laughs> I think everybody just need to move on and maybe get your own, get your own self some coochie. Really? Right, Jamaica? <laughs> but. No nah, man, but shout out to Aunt Shannon Sharp, man. Hope he pulled through this. Hope everything. Hope he don't lose no money, lose no jobs, nothing. Hope everything. Just issue an apology to everybody and everybody just move on. I'll say this. Like I say to any and everybody who happened to get in trouble, I hope it was worth it. I'm not apologizing for clapping no cheeks. I don't give a damn what you say. Now, if he was clapping the cheeks of somebody's wife and it came out, then yeah, you can some you can be said about that. But that sounds like a very consensual um, experience, round, whatever you want to call it. And um, I just hope that this brush is over and the next thing will come. No pun intended. <laughs> you know? Uh, because tomorrow it's going to be something else. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be something else. There's always something going on in celebrity news. Right, right now, the, another big story is the whole Kendrick Lamar being the, the Super Bowl halftime performer and Lil Wayne getting, getting snubbed. He was thinking it was going to be him, but they went with Kendrick Lamar. Now, he pissed off at Jay-Z because Jay-Z snubbed him. For those that don't know, Jay-Z is now the executive producer of the Super Bowl halftime show. So, he has a big say in who does the Super Bowl halftime show. Well, how did he get that job? It's Jay-Z. He the one that put together the Eminem, Snoop, Dr. Dre, 50 Cent. Um... Tag time show a couple years back. 
So him doing stuff like that, is that what made him made them give him that job? Or? Well, uh, I mean, I think he got a partnership with them, so I don't know. Okay. But it's Jay-Z. You know, Jay-Z got his hands in everything. But um, anyway, yeah, so... So who's Kendrick Lamar? He's a rapper. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. He had the recent big beef with Drake and all that. One of the, well, the biggest West Coast rapper right now. Mm. Anyway, but yeah, um, it's going to be something. That, I'll say all of this to say that tomorrow is going to be something else. You know, Hollywood is a big place with a lot of people and a lot of magnifying glasses on a lot of those people. So you're always going to get a lot of stories, you know, and it's unfortunate, but it's, it's, it's Hollywood. It's, it's the press. It's the media. You know, so. I just thank God I never wanted to be famous. Like that was just never mm-hmm. something of mine. I feel bad for celebrities. Mm-hmm. Some of them. But yeah, that was good. We just wanted to come and hide y'all. Have a little quick little conversation. Let us know down below what y'all think about this whole Shannon Shop situation. Do y'all think that he was wrong and he lied about not knowing or you feel like it ain't even that big a deal. You know, shouldn't even be taken out of, out of uh, to the levels that it's being taken to right now in the media and in the so, in social media. I will say this to my sister Sonia. I did put the yogurt in the eggs and made like an egg salad. I can eat egg salad this way. Instead of using mayonnaise, using the plain yogurt, it is pretty good. I can't finish it. I'm kind of full, but... Yeah, that was that was a that was a nice filling sandwich. I, I feel good. I, I was just hungry because me and my wife was laying in the bed. I said I'm hungry, so I came in here. She said it's only one egg left. Because <laughs> all I I've been eating eggs because that's one of the things that I can have, and I can only have like one egg, and one egg is like two meals for me. So I was like, oop, it's only one left. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good though. It worked out. All right, so we're about to get up out of here. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little bell to be notified whenever we drop a video. Um, y'all don't forget about our popcorn fundraiser that's going on right now until the 27th of this month. The link to the popcorn fundraiser website um, is in our IG bio. Just go to IG. It's right there at the top. Just click it. Can't you put it in the description too? I can put it in the description too. It's down below or in our IG bio. And you can just click and go over there and buy me some popcorn. It's going towards our Thanksgiving third third annual Thanksgiving giveaway. Um, and if you don't want to buy no popcorn, you can. We got Cash App, CJ and Sharice, CJ A and D Sharice. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can also donate dry goods and uh, canned goods for the Thanksgiving giveaway as well. And our PO box is down below. I don't know why you have that down below and I still have to fix it. I'll take the P.O. box off this video. And I will try to get online and fix that because now I do have to get a new one. Yeah. Um, and then also you can do a Walmart order at a, one of our local Walmarts and we can go pick it up for the Thanksgiving giveaway. If you reach out to us and let us know, we can mm-hmm. let you know Walmart that we can pick it up from. And also our daughter wants to do a toy drive, her first annual toy drive for some, uh, you know, for some babies, some kids, you know, in our area. And if you'd like to donate to that, you can do so by donating toys or you could donate cash or however you want to do it, you know. Um, also, uh, don't forget about YouTube Adopt the Family. And if you want more information on that, you can head on over to Essence of Sonia, Vicky's World, Miss Louisiana Housewife. We'll, and, uh, we'll be dropping information later on yeah. this month on that um no. and then you can reach out to any of us and we'll be able to um give you whatever information except for giving you the person yeah we never we'll never, we'll never give the, person, the person's right. information um but all of that information will be dropping later on this month so be um keep your eye out for that i will say this um a lot of people have mentioned that they wanted to donate to diva's first toy drive if you send a donation to the cash app in the memo Please put what you're donating for, whether it be the Thanksgiving giveaway or whether it be the toy drive. We have not set up Diva a second cash app just yet. We um, are looking into different ways to, you know, how to do that separately. 
Um, but for right now, if you can please put it in the memo, we will greatly appreciate it so we know where to, you know, sit or spend the money. Um, but everything we what you put in that memo is what it's going to go to. And we will, you know, start showing her. She will be doing the shopping for that. Of course, we'll be there to help and support her. But she is organizing all of that. So we look forward to seeing how what she comes up with. Mm -hmm. So I think I said like, comment, share, subscribe and all that. So with that being said, I love you. Mm -mm, you drink that milk. Oh love yeah, you. true. Frank, love you. It's true, we love you. T Lee, love y'all. And we love y'all. Make sure you tell somebody you love them if you haven't already, because you make sure you tell somebody that you love them if you haven't already, because tomorrow is not what? Promise. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your evening. Go clap some cheeks on IG. And until next time, folks. TJ! <laughs> <laughs>